This is Mike with AndroidHeadlines.com and today I have the Nexus S 4G with a Jelly Bean ROM. Um, it's not the full AOSP and it doesn't have the binaries but it is indeed a Jelly Bean ROM so let's give this thing a look. Uh, as you can see from turning it on you have the Jelly Bean kind of feel to it with that. See there? That, ref that kickback. Uh, then we have Google Now up to the top here or now I'll just unlock it. Um, I've been using the same theme, but you can tell here this is definitely the Google, you know, the Google uh, search bar and Google Voice Action or Voice Search definitely works. I can ask it different things, and when I do, it'll start translating. So it pulled a little bit off of what I was saying there. It is a little slow on the loading of this. Um, this voice actions piece was hacked in kind of last minute. So it's it's got a little work that needs being done to it. Um, but not too bad. I can ask it different things and it will work though. So let's ask it just the simple thing like how tall is the Eiffel Tower? How tall is the Eiffel Tower? Eiffel Tower is 1,063 feet. So there it displays a picture, it does its thing, you know, it works. I can also do some search and it will work, um, but that's pretty cool. Uh, it's kind of funny, it, it, uh, I, I heard it mentioned somewhere that um, Jelly Bean was going to come with uh, the Nexus ROMs, so I don't know if that's, or excuse me, Chrome's going to come with the Nexus ROMs. I had to download Chrome and I got the stock browser which I have disabled, so that's gone. Um, other Jelly Bean features are indeed in there. If I go to select this and I wanted to put it on this screen over here, things will move out of my way so that it'll work. So that's really cool. And then if you don't want it on there, um, just flick it away and it's gone. Uh, there is Google Music Search uh, where you can listen to a song. I listened to Break My Stride earlier today, uh, something I hadn't heard in a while and a song on the radio reminded me of it, so that's great. Um, I just wanted to tell you that I have a 4G icon here, but that's not from that's from the SDK, SDK build. What this basically is, it sounds like, is an SDK slash OTA uh, slash kind of whatever else they could find kind of hack for this ROM. Most things work though, from what I understand. Wi-Fi Tether doesn't work in the build I've got, but they've got a, re a, re a revision where it does work. Um, a few other things kind of don't work off and on, or they're slow, like my voice search but it is really fast. It's not that it's the UI that's slow, it's just a little slow for that. I can get it to flip as fast as I want. It just goes really smooth, really quick, does everything you'd want. Um, the Nexus Q app is on there and it works. Uh, with Jelly Bean it doesn't give me any problems. My Play Music is there and it should... I say should, but it should load there in the corner. Yeah, there's the play. Send to the Q button. It's the new thing. Uh, I guess I'll show you some things to prove. Just that it is Jelly Bean. Uh, that for one. But this is another one. 4.1. Android 4.1 is on there. So, that's a little bit of proof. And then by clicking it, I get the different, the uh, thing. And I can flick all the beans away. So that's kind of hard to fake, so it is indeed a real ROM. It is really working. Uh, there's the different notifications. I don't have any right now. One thing I noticed, and this is kind of cool, is BAM. I can pull out, or if I put my thumb over that, it doesn't let me adjust the brightness, but it's kind of cool because if I put my thumb right there, it'll tell me the time and the date and everything, and I thought that was really cool. There's always just a, a way to tell the time and the date by clicking that. Um, I can't think of any other Jelly Bean specific features right now, but I do have a Jelly Bean ROM. Uh, if you are so inclined, you can go to XDA Developers Forum and go to the Nexus X section, the Nexus S section, excuse me, and go to the 4G area, and you can go ahead and find this ROM. It's on there. Um, there's only like three of them, and two two of them aren't even in development, so you can definitely tell which one it is out of the three. So definitely go give this a look for your Nexus S 4G. There's no 4G, but we do indeed have Wi-Fi working. 
and we do indeed have 3G working. Um, I called my wife on the way home. Text messaging working works. Some people say MMS doesn't work. Some people say GPS doesn't work very well. But from what I can tell, that's not a problem for me. This has been Mike with AndroidHeadlines.com on my Nexus S4G running Jelly Bean 4.1.